First, we'll add some planes on the outside surfaces here. Using Smart Select again, we want to be careful to stay away from the back part of this clamped bore because we already know that it's at least shifted and it could also be twisted, meaning that we would get a fit that we're not really interested in. So I'm going to have best fit, the three sigma outliers, and the max angle of 20 degrees, just like with the cylinders. And remember that if you have this little lock on, this dialog will stay open to make another plane after you hit accept. And go over here, repeat the same thing, and hit accept. So there I have two, and we'll go cancel now. They're the two side planes. So now I want to make intersection points between the cylinder axes and each of these planes. It's easier to do that when you hide the mesh. So over here, I'm just going to hide the mesh. And I'm going to create a point. And it should automatically change selection tools. But here I want something like the rectangle selection tool. And we just use the control key or the shift key and select the cylinder and the plane. Make sure that this is on so that this doesn't keep closing. And we're just going to go through here. So it's the intersection of each bore with each plane. And then we want a center point on the large bore. We're going to create our longitudinal plane by using three points. And we want to use two points from what we consider our datum bore, so it perfectly matches that axis, and then just the center point from the larger half bore, basically. So if we just select the two points, it guesses that we want an average point, so between two points at 0.5, that's exactly what we want, and we go accept. So now we can create our plane probably easiest to keep the scan or mesh hidden still. And then we just select the points. So the two points on either end of the small bore, and then the one point on the center. So this is not fitting a plane, this is defining a plane, and that's somewhat important. You wouldn't want to pick all of the points. Um, it possibly would give you the same result, but I'd like to do it in a very explicit way like this. We're gonna hit accept. Then the next thing, we just want another plane 90 degrees from that. So we can use the rotation method. Rotation. And we're going to select the plane we just made and the small bore. We're going to set the rotation angle to 90 degrees. You can see it previewed here, and that's exactly what we want. Accept and cancel. So at this point, we can show our scan again if we'd like. And if you don't want to see these outboard planes, you can hide them. So for me, that was plane one and two, just so they're not in the way when I start selecting things. Okay, so I've already deleted my uh, datum A as well as my parallelism from the previous measurement. So all I have is obviously my cylinders were there and then my cylindricity uh, I left because that's still useful to have and that won't change obviously. So now what I want to do is I want to call the longitudinal plane a, datum A and the vertical plane datum B. So I'm going to datum off the dimension tab. The way these display, you can never get it perfect, so you'll just have to accept it the way it is until you have uh, the part aligned if you want to go that far. I'm going to accept, and I'm going to repeat the same thing. For the vertical plane, so datum A, datum B. So now I can add parallelism. Click that cylinder. And then against datum A, keep it at 2000. And then I'm going to do it again against datum B. So now we see that the first parallelism callout is five ten thousandths of an inch, and the second one is one ten thousandth of an inch. And that means the first one is, is relative to the longitudinal plane. So that 
very likely means that this part is twisted around its narrow neck versus being bowed like a banana as you would look from overhead because that number would then be high relative to datum B versus being high higher relative to datum A. So it was a few extra steps, but we can see that we can get the directionality of this parallelism or lack of parallelism by instead of using a single cylindrical datum, breaking that up into planes that are perfectly coincident with its axis, but are basically horizontal and vertical or really any direction that we would want.